Today I'm going to show you guys how we use our biogas effluent to feed the plants on our farm. So once your effluent bucket gets full, I just remove it from here. And then I take it and dump it into my new bucket. Place this so before I put the effluent on the plants I'm going to dilute it to a 50 50 mixture with water so to do that I'm just going to fill this bucket half full with water so one thing I do before I transfer this is I take this and I pour it back in because if this bucket of effluent has been sitting for a while, some of the stuff might have settled at the bottom. And I want it to be a homogeneous mixture. And then I can pour it into here to mix it with the water. And then now I'll top this bucket back up with water and I'll have two 50-50 mixtures. So I'm right here, right next to the effluent. And some people say the smell is really bad. And it has a smell, but it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like, like compost almost. Yeah, like it doesn't even smell smell as bad as that one fertilizer we have that has like fish meal in it and all that other stuff. Like it doesn't smell like poop at all. <laughs> it just smells like rich organic material, basically. So now I'm going to take this effluent and I'm going to go feed my plants. So depending on the plant, like for this banana tree, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my effluent and I'm going to get it real close to the base. So I'm going to pour it to the uphill side right around the base of this banana and just soak the area that I know there's roots or the, they would call it the root zone. Now I'm standing under this cacao tree that I grew from seed. And again, I'm going to pour it on the uphill side of the tree. And just give it a little splash and that's all it takes. So we even use the effluent on our palm trees and they love it too. So to make sure I can make the most of my effluent, I just water right around the base of my plants. Rather than soaking this whole raised bed with effluent, which would take a lot, I can prioritize the plants that I care about, like these pepper plants right here, by soaking the base. Right here we have Moringa, and even Moringa loves a little effluent. 
So I even found that pineapples like to be fed with the effluent as well. And the way I feed them is I pour it into the center. And the effluent will cascade down into the roots through the leaves. So for a raised bed like this, where I have greens, edible greens like radish and collard greens, I want to avoid getting the effluent on the leaves. So what I do is I try to push the leaves aside and pour it at the base so I'm not splashing any on the leaves. And we do still rinse them. Like, if it doesn't rain really heavily, we will rinse them when we harvest them because we know that we fed the raised bed. Now, when we have more effluent than what we can use around the farm, we just take it and we store it in these bleach bottles. This way we can have effluent for our nursery plants or anything else we need to use it for.